Okay, so let's go ahead and start lesson 10. And uh, the noise you hear in the background is my neighbors outside on their balcony. Uh, they are, you know, partying it up because tomorrow is Monday and it's a big day. It's like a free work day. You get the day off and everybody just gets hammered the day before. So uh, let's go ahead and start uh, lesson 10. We're going to be talking about various things, but Ich bin ein Berliner. And then we'll go into our foundational vocabulary after our culture corner. And then we will talk about the second verb goes at the end. And then banking and finance vocabulary. So uh, in our culture corner, JFK was a jelly donut. Um, I don't think he was a jelly donut. Um, he never proclaimed that he was. Uh, in 1963, he stood up in front of uh, the listeners in Berlin. And he said, Ich bin ein Berliner, as only JFK could say with that Kenny Bunkport uh, patois uh, and reporters around the world immediately um, said that he proclaimed that he was a jelly donut. Now, Berliner is a German word for jelly donut. Yes, but not in Berlin. In Berlin, the, the locals use, use the term Fankuschen, Fankuschen. And so uh, Berliner, um, just like if you live in Kaiserslautern, uh, it would be a Kaiserslauterner. Uh, if you live in Hamburg, you'd be a Hamburger, and so on and so forth. If you live in Berlin, you would be a, a Berliner. And he was just saying he was one of them, so conspiracy over. Now, going into our foundational vocabulary uh, review, um, you can see on the left what our English is. I'm not going to read that, but I will give you the German pronunciation uh, on the right. So, starting with thank you and ending with a way, danke Ihnen. Or, danke dir, für, für, ein, eine, das ist, Zeit, aber, nein, nicht, ich bin nicht, or, ich bin nicht, and then, weit, weg. And take a moment to rewind that and go over those as many, as many times as you need. Uh, our second review page, uh, that through before, down on the left, we are going to go with das, das, ähnlich, andere, ein andere, Seite, bis, gestern, ohne uns, Zeit, Tag, for him, for dem. For her, for dem. So looking into this week's words that we must memorize. Right? I say, I am saying becomes ich sage. Ich bin dabei zu sagen. What time is it? Welche Zeit ist es? Or, and more popularly, wie spät ist es? Wie spät ist es? Literally, how late is it? I want, ich will, ich will, uh, I want can be translated to ich möchte, ich möchte. Um, uh, also, which also means I would like, right? You know, so I want, ich will, ich möchte, uh, I would like. And when you're at a restaurant, even if you say bitte, don't say ich will ein Bier bitte. Don't say that. I want a beer, please. Don't say no, 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 no. You wind up with it on your forehead. Uh, ich möchte ein Bier, bitte. So, without you, ohne sie, ohne dich, right? So, from the formal to the informal. Everywhere, wherever, überall, überall, wo auch immer, wo auch immer. I go, I am going, ich gehe, ich gehe. With, mit, my becomes mein, meiner, or meins. Cousin becomes cousin or cousine for the female. Cousin, male, cousine, female. Um, in Heidelberg, ich habe eine Cousin, Cousin Ralf. Und ich habe uh, Cousine Annette, Cousine Annette. And then I need, I must becomes ich brauche, ich muss. Pretty interchangeable. Ich brauche, ich muss. 
And our last page of foundational must learns that we can review next week. Right now becomes genau jetzt, genau jetzt. Uh, night, Nacht. To see, zu sehen. Light, Licht. Outside, draußen. That is, das ist. To be, sein. And I see, I am seeing, ich sehe. Now, going on to the second verb goes last. That's how I really want us to remember. This is probably the most important rule of German grammar that you could ever come across right here. If using a sentence with two verbs, the second verb goes at the end. So, I need to go to the store becomes ich muss in den Laden gehen. Gehen. So you see the two letters, the two words in red, those are your verbs. So ich muss, I must, in den Laden, in the store, gehen, right? Uh, so I must, to the store, go, right? So ich muss in den Laden gehen. I want to buy a dog. Ich möchte ein Hund kaufen, kaufen. She needs to eat dinner. Sie muss zu Abend essen. Sie muss zum Abend essen. He wants to fly to the USA. Er will in die USA fliegen. Er will in die USA fliegen. And going into our last bit here, we have finance, right, as an introduction. So remember, a Konto is an account. As in, ich möchte ein Konto eröffnen. I'd like to open an account, right? You always want to throw a please on there too. It's a formula. Formula is a form, all right? So you might hear a banker or someone like that tell you, bitte füllen Sie dieses Formula aus. So please fill out this formula, right? Or this, this, this form, right? They call them a formula. Ein Unterschrift is your signature. Bitte überschreiben Sie hier. So please sign here. Bin, bitte unterschreiben Sie hier. Please sign here. Unterschrift is your signature. Zinsen, Zinsen. The interest rates in Germany are generally low, so saving is not a very lucrative option when compared to other economies. That's a note. But nevertheless, Zinsen is your interest. Uh, Dauer Auftrag, standing order. We have Kredit, which is a loan. We have Zahlungsart, which is a method of payment. Kasse, which is the cash counter. Kleingeld, small change, and Bankleitzahl. The Bankleitzahl is your IBAN, your IBAN number, your I-B-A-N, or in Germany they call it IBAN, IBAN. And that's it for today. We will see you next time for a lesson 11. Cheers.